In this lesson, you're going to see the three most common issues that you might come across when setting up member vault on Merlalite. And you're going to learn how to work around them, how to troubleshoot them. So if it happens, you know what to do. One of the things that people struggle to get their head around is the groups and tags terminology. So member vault uses tags. Um, when you set up the actions, you can do add a tag and give the name of the tag. Merlalite uses groups. So if you've come from a platform like MailChimp where tags are used everywhere, then it can be quite hard to switch between the two to just start thinking of tags and groups, but that's what you have to do. So wherever you see tags in Member Vault, think of them as groups for MailerLite and everything will just make sense. Everything will work. So that's the first thing, thinking of tags as groups. The second thing is where automations are not sending. So your automated emails, your welcome emails, your setup or your product complete emails, they don't send. And that can be quite hard to troubleshoot. The first thing you need to check is that the name of the tag, as you know them as groups, matches what's in MailerLite. So you need to check that those two names are the same. Because if they don't match, then Member Vault is probably sending them to a different group and then you're trying to trigger your automation from a a different group as well and you know, things would just go out of Skelter. So you need to make sure that those two things match. And if you're in doubt, then what I would suggest is to delete the group from MailerLite, delete that action from Member Vault and redo it again, but from Member Vault. So that will get Member Vault to create the group for you. The second thing you need to check is that your automation is done done. So you go to automation and then just check your workflow and it has to say active. Sometimes you might set it up and forget to click the toggle and that will turn it on for you. So you just need to make sure that that's active. And if those two things don't help, then the next thing you need to try is turning off your automation. And as I say in the IT world, just turn it off and on again. So what I'll tend to do is select the automation or the workflow, edit it, and then turn the workflow off. Once that's done, click on the top action to so the first step and just make sure that everything is right so you're probably just best resetting it just making sure so that will reset it make sure you've chosen the right group click save and then turn it back on so that's just reset the starting point the trigger because that's usually um, where things go wrong that trigger stage so just reset that reselect the group and that should get everything firing off the third thing is testing your automation you may have noticed when you're in Member Vault, you can do a preview and view your um, products as it may look for the customer. But it is very useful to actually sign up to your own product and go through it as a customer would. So you can get those emails, see what they look like, see when they're triggered and just make sure that everything is set up as it should be. To do that, I would recommend that you sign up for your course, but via an incognito mode. So in this Chrome browser, I'm logged in as admin, so everything is going to be here. So to save me logging out, just open a new incognito window there, sign up for your product that way, and then just watch as you go through into the right group, get your email, and you'll be able to see what your customer can see. Now in MailerLite, when you're doing this, you might want to get the same email twice. So you, if you're testing this multiple times, you might want to make sure, you know, if you test it again, you might not get the welcome email again. So there is a setting there that says repeat the workflow for subscribers. So if you're testing this again, say in five days time, make sure you tick that box so that you can get that email again if you need to. If you don't have it ticked, then if you're signing up for your product multiple times, the same email, you will get the welcome email. So if that's the step you're testing, just make sure that that is checked and you can get that email again. And those are the three um, most common queries that people have when it comes to Member Vault and MailerLite. First one is getting their head around tags and groups. The second one is where the automated emails don't send. And that's just to make sure you go through each stage of your automation and make sure everything is sending the right information to where they need to be. And lastly is around actually testing the emails themselves. And sometimes people try to do it with the admin details and usually the best way is to just sign up as a student, use incognito browser, and you get to see the flow as they would. And I hope that proves helpful when you come to do your own setup.